What time is it? Uh, it Ten is minutes. eight o'clock. Here we go, eight o'clock. All right. We're All ready. right. Well, everybody, thank you for coming on board this morning. Uh, one of the people that I talk to, gosh, almost every day now is Bill Kerbox. He's in Malibu. Um, you know, we talk about what we need to do to help the agents. And because let's face it, uh, technology is on the tracks. And if we don't get a hold of it, it's going to mow us over. That's the one thing that I, I do realize. However, Bill's going to talk about a subject today that I think is very important because everybody's out there with the shiny new object, yeah. uh, click funnels, uh, videos, everything else. But I think there's an important miss message that Bill wants to reiterate today. And I'm just going to turn it over to Mr. William Kerbox and you're on. Thanks, Frank. Good to see you, buddy. I appreciate that. You know, I, I've been doing real estate for 40 years now. And, uh, you know, the only model there ever was, was an active agent. There was no such thing as a passive agent. And I know that agents, I, I talk to them every day, right? I, let's just jump in at KV Core. How are you doing with KV Core? Well, I don't use it. I don't like, I don't know or whatever. They The agents would rather pay Zillow 40% or op city or one of these things. But but I'll get to that. What I want to talk about is just two things, active versus passive. Oh, okay. excuse me. Excuse yeah. me, Chris, are we recorded? Yeah. Yes, sir. We're live. Yeah. Okay, great. We're live. Okay. Active versus passive. So I'm not pointing the finger at anybody, but I've been seeing a lot of stuff out there with people saying, listen, if you go on YouTube and you do a couple of videos you will never have to make another call again. They will all call you, okay? Well, good luck if that's working for you, but I don't believe that's the case. And most agents are having still a hard time being able to take a video to YouTube. Even though this is the anti just do that call, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in, in a few minutes with AI. We're gonna, we're gonna go into chat uh, GPT. But I want to finish off that. Then there's other people that are, are, are um, touting Facebook, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn. Those are great. Okay, those are great. But if you're sitting around and you're making content for social media and YouTube, what is the one thing you're not doing? You're probably not actively prospecting. So I want to talk briefly about what that looks like. I know I'm not alone. Right now in the marketplace, there's expires and there's FISBO. This is a great market. Uh, I'll tell you a quick story. A friend of mine, he sold the Playboy Mansion. He told me, he said, uh, regarding follow-up and an expired, he stayed with a guy for uh, over two years. When he finally got him on the phone, he actually felt bad. He thought the guy was going to yell at him. Instead, what the guy said was, you know what? Thank you. You're the only guy. He said, everybody else was gone after two weeks. You've been on me for like two years. I, I've already, I've been watching you come on over, and he went over and he listed his his eight eight or nine million dollar home. So the agents are today want to uh, you know uh, you know depend on other things, passive marketing. But there's a lot of for sale by owners out there, and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of expireds. And by the way, I, I don't know how many of you have experimented or played with chat. Uh, GPT. If you haven't, get on there. Uh, you can actually have AI write you a beautiful script. If you're concerned about what do you say to an expired, what do you say to a FISBO? But the, at the end of the day, the old Tom Ferry, type, and I'm a fan of Tom, the old strip, when are you ready to list your home with a better? Now that, that, that stuff's gone. We have to get in, uh, you know, in the mode of being able to help these people. But if you go and spend an hour a day, I, I've got eight clients that I work for that I, I own an ad agency and do marketing uh, in Beverly Hills. And she has her assistant at 6 a.m. pulling up all the expires in Beverly Hills, baby. I mean, $20 million homes expire sometimes. And, and then once they get that list, then they're, they're, in this case, they're dropping off packages, right? Or they're calling them. So the first and foremost 
is get back to work and stop relying on social media. Uh, I don't believe my personal thing is if you're a big agent, you're a successful agent, you're not messing around with that, right? That's being done for you. Um, there, there's a lot of stories of a lot of people selling a lot of stuff right now to help you make a funnel and do this and all that. But you know what? Bottom line is you don't have to do any of it. You have to call. You have to have a good follow up system. You know, get follow up boss, start using KB Core, but it's a really great time to just get back to work. But I'm going to touch on another topic in the active area. I have a friend in Palm Springs. This guy does uh, four deals a month consistently, and he does it. He has this thing called the four corners. He doesn't advertise, I don't even think he has social media. And what he does is he has a system of going out and talking to people. His intention is to talk with people. I know that he uses his dog. He walks through neighborhoods. He goes to different neighborhoods. He connects with people. I know he goes to a lot of events. He gets out. He connects with people the old-fashioned way. He's got his business card. And one of the ones that I love, and I think, Frank, I've even heard this from you, he sits in uh, various, uh, you know, Starbucks or one of the coffee shops with his, iP uh, you know, with his computer, his laptop, and he's got the MLS on there, you know, and he's got a little stack of cards right next to him. And people come up and talk and want to, you know, want to uh, talk into the, uh, uh, you know, about what he's doing. So to kind of finish off the thought, the it, within the active, you've got reaching out, you've got showing up at the door. Uh, I made my living when I got into real estate, going out and talking to people at the door. I would show up for expires. I would show up for FISBOs. I would send handwritten letters. I know it sounds familiar, right? It's like, what's this guy talking about? That's the old shit. Yeah. It still works. The only difference between us and Zillow and us in one of these, the other ones is that people want to do business with someone they trust. Do you think they trust Zillow? There's no reason they would, right? So if you're, if you become the guy in the neighborhood that people are connecting with, you're going to have a much better opportunity. Now, when you're out there, do you want to add video to that? Absolutely. You could very easily do that. So while we're on that topic, I'm going to take you guys in. Can I share my screen here? Yeah. Okay. It says it's disabled. Let me. Oh, uh, Chris, can you fix that? There you go. Okay. Let me share my screen. The so I'm going to show you guys in chat, uh, GPT. Okay, and this is pretty amazing. So let's just say, can you see my screen, guys? Yes. Okay, good. So let's just say that you are wanting to add to your active prospecting a video on YouTube. You don't need some professional video, but watch this. Go in, sign up for chat GPT. If I'm sure you've all heard about it. It's it's a game changer. We'll we'll do another training on that because there's a lot of things that uh, it will blow your mind. But I typed in there to write me an area video for Malibu. And look what it said. It opened up. It tells me what video clips to shoot. It says open with scenic footage of Malibu Beach's coastline. Then it gives me my voiceover, which I can read while I'm doing it. Hey, welcome to Malibu, a breathtaking city, short drive from Los Angeles. Here are the top reasons you should move. And that tells you, cut to a shot of a beautiful home. It tells you what to say. It tells you the shots you need. Go in, type in your city and say this, create me an area video for buyers and sellers of top reasons to move to <clears throat> Roseville or your city. And what's going to happen is you're going to have a script now. Here's the problem with this. You are not going to have any more excuses, right? Everybody says, well, I don't want to be on camera and I don't know how to do it. Take your camera with you when you're out door knocking and start to connect, uh, you know, using video uh, of the area, but but make it real. So, and last but not least in the, in the active category, and I know a lot of people are, are messing up on this because 
they don't have a proper uh they don't have a proper database right they don't have an email system or whatever but the sphere of influence i talked to one of tom ferry's top coaches the, this coach has been doing real estate for 45 years she she coaches literally joyce ray with a billion dollars a year in production and i talked to her for about 10 15 minutes cuz i actually do her marketing for her and we were talking about what Tom Ferry's doing right now. And he's saying that, you know, you're calling every day, five expireds, five FISBOs, right? Five people in your database. But what Tom has done, I'm giving you guys the inside track here. He's doubled that now. So he's got everybody calling these people. But when you reach out in your sphere of influence, don't just be a dodo bird saying, oh, hi, it's Bill. Uh, when are you planning on moving? Have what you can. I'm, I'm going to show you guys this. So I, for one of my clients, I wrote an article. I'm going to re, I'm going to re uh, sh share this. Uh, let me get this here. I wrote an article about uh, Malib, about uh, uh, Beverly Hills. And in that article, um, I it, it completely identified what's happening in the market. So I had from that, I'm not finding it here. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, when I went into chat and I asked it to write a market update for Beverly Hills for the month of, of February, it gave me all the stats. It said, hey, you know, the, the this area is doing great. I actually I'll do it in real time. Let's do it. Right. Please write me. Me and article about how the real estate market in Malibu is doing in February 2023. All right. So I just typed that into chat. Can you guys see that in real time, Frank? Yeah. Okay. So let's see what happens. Okay. Let's see where we got there. Okay. All right. Let me see here. Well, you're going to have to take my word for it. And you know what? This is actually a better, uh, this is a better opportunity. Okay, here it is. So uh, this, I'm going to refer I'm going to refer to one in um, uh, that we did for uh, Beverly Hills. It's telling me that the average price is four and a half million. It's a slight increase. It's telling me what neighborhoods are selling better. So go in, sign up for chat, and talk to chat. You have to you have to practice what you put and how you ask the questions. But when you do that, you're going to be able to get that information. And you just put that on your screen and you internalize it because you know what? That's your only job in real estate is to go out and see all the inventory and know what the hell is going on. So when you're calling FISBOs, expires, and past clients and people in your sphere, what your conversation is going to be about is what's happening in real estate. That's the only thing they want. They don't want, uh, they don't want, uh, you know, you reminding them to turn your clock back or, you know, how to unplug your toilet. They want to know how to what make brownies, to huh? How to make brownies. Yeah. They don't want to know how many. Okay. Okay. Here it is. Look at this. Okay. It wrote this article. According to the Malibu Association of Realtors, the median price was 3.5. It was up. Uh, uh, it was up over three and a half million, an increase 22 percent. The market continues to thrive. It was a now okay, and it talked about Elon Musk just bought a hundred million dollar property in the area. I know that because I filmed it, and uh, this is a high profile purchase. So, so what that tells me is if Elon Musk and I'm talking to people in Malibu, purchased a home for 100 million. Well, guess what? All of the homes along that bluff 
Paradise Cove area, they've now gone up. My friend, uh, uh, my friend uh, that lives over in there, he bought his uh, uh, Mark Burnett. Uh, I grew up with Mark, and he's the guy who did uh, Survivor. His house he bought for eighteen million. Well, now it's worth a hundred million. So I can talk to anybody because chat just reminded me of what's going on. It actually pulled information out of the marketplace. So to kind of put it in, a, in you know, get back to work. Don't, you know, I talked to somebody yesterday, they're buying leads from Op City. You know, they're paying 30, 40 percent. Then they're paying uh, EXP 20 percent. And you know what? If you look at the cost of on a uh, on a, a million dollar property and a commission of the gross 30, let's call it $20,000, and you're paying 30%, you're spending $3,000. You could take that $3,000 and go and print some mailer cards and walk around the neighborhood and, and run some ads. You can do a lot better than just wanting to be a silent guy. So if you want to get ahead in today's marketplace, basically get back to work because your competition is probably just like you. They want it easy, right? I'll write a check. I'll pay off city later. I don't care. It's it's a deal. I'll I'll be happy with it. That's the wrong attitude. So any uh, any questions? Any thoughts? Any areas you want to go a little deeper to? I don't know how active we are here. Uh, do you find Chat GPT to be accurate? Uh, that's from Anthony uh, Petito. Uh, absolutely. And if you don't click the rewrite button. Um, so some of the things, for example, um, uh, on uh, a chat, you know, you're going to be able to uh, create uh, uh, blog articles. I mean, with amazing, amazing, uh, you know, accuracy, uh, you're going to be able to um, create lists. Like I could literally go in here and I could say, Write chat, write me an article about the top five things to do when moving to Roseville, California. In, in about 30 seconds, you're going to have an amazing article. Copy that article, go into LinkedIn, or just read it, read it on YouTube. Hello, <laughs> turn your camera on and, and talk about what's happening in Roseville. So the ability to use chat to give you a script and have that script on one screen and your camera like here on YouTube on the other, you you could literally be, be a professional, but I'm not suggesting that you buy into, I'm going on YouTube and I'm gonna be rich, but it can be a good adjunct to your active prospecting. Get out there and basically get back to work. I feel yeah, so I have a oh, question. Oh, sorry, Janet. I didn't mean to talk over you. Go ahead. Hi, Janet. Okay. Hi. So I know that Chat GPT also has an app and a website. Are you using just the website or are you using the app as well? No, I'm just using the website. <clears throat> yeah, just using the website. Now, it's almost too much. I almost had a heart attack. I was the other morning, I made the mistake of going on Instagram and I'm looking at all the AI products. It's mind boggling. Okay. The industry and the world as we know it is going to change. The good news is that we're aware of that and can position ourselves ahead of that. The big companies have been using this technology kind of against us, whatever, for a long time. The, the things that I'm seeing right now is, for example, for my videos, I'm actually able to create my own copyrighted music. I'm able to go in and I'm able to type in a script and it will use any voice I want. It will change the voice to a more professional voice. And I can put that over my, uh, my thing, but I can go in and I can say, chat, Write me an Instagram tagline talking about the Malibu real estate market, and it will do that. I mean, it's it's really it's really unbelievable uh, what's what's happening. I know that some of the first jobs that are going to be. Uh, I talked to a friend of mine that's a head a headhunter, 
And he said that his business has just stopped. Now, I'm not saying it's from AI, but we've known this. You know, we've been warned about this uh, um, uh, a while back that, uh, you know, Elon Musk was talking about it. Uh, it just is going to change the flow of information. And so we as real estate agents, when you look at it, you literally could have it so that AI could uh, uh, automatically send you a text message with the loan app, get the loan app, approve the loan, uh, go in, grab the money out of your bank, uh, send you a, a, a bucket of flowers, right? Uh, uh, send your kit and then follow up automatically for you and keep you as a client. It's pretty amazing. So what's the one piece that's missing is us, right? That will never change. And the ability to have that relationship, I would, if I was buying a million dollar diamond, do you think I'm going to buy it from AI or am I going to, am I going to buy it at Zales? No, I'm going to go find a broker, somebody that knows that can say, no, that's not the right diamond. I know where to get it. We're going to get it directly from, uh, you know, from Russia, whatever. So um, that's the answer to that. Have you tried, uh, Janet, have you used um, chat? No, not yet. But every group that I've spoken to is like the hottest thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I yeah. do have the app. I haven't put it on my phone yet. And I do. have tried to get into the website, but it looks like it's full most of the time when I try and get in there. It is. It, it You know, they, they uh, when they built this, they only built it back as far as I think 2020, which is mind boggling. I don't even understand that. But what's happening is now it's learning. It's learning. It's like a monster. It's learning every day. It gets stronger and bigger. So what could be very interesting is when you guys get into chat, go in and ask it, what is the future of real estate now that AI is on the scene? Because we need to get ahead of this. And the one thing, the one thing that separates us from everybody else. And it's a huge part because I only deal in luxury. I don't even, and, and anything under a few million, I don't even, it's not even on my radar. In that marketplace, the people in the know are the ones that people want to work with. People like Chris Cortazzo, right? So, you know, you know, half a billion, three quarters of a billion a year. You go into his office, he's a friend. He, um, and, you know, he'll know everything. Oh, I got two coming up on the point, 20 and 30 million. I got this, I got that. So our ability to network and connect with off-market coming soon, maybe an expired that you talk to, that guy should be on your list. Our sphere of knowledge is what we do. And AI cannot ever get that. So my initial assessment of AI of how we can beat it at its own game and laugh at that is by saying, I know the market better than anybody, better than AI. If you want me to find your home, let me know. I'll go directly into my private network and we'll find you the home. Because, you know, there's a lot of big things uh, coming up with commissions. You know, they're, they, uh, you know, they're trying to get rid of the buyer's side commission, which is mind boggling to me. That's what uh, one company did. They took that away and they forced dual representation. But if that ever got in pretty soon, what's happened is now the listing broker is now the key. As a listing broker, I can tell you right now, I'm not representing both sides for two and a half percent. I'm not taking that liability. But um, again, this uh, the reason Frank's got me here is that we're all in this together. So we need to be ahead of this, right? We don't want somebody beating us our own game. So if you get to know the market better and you get out there and you meet people and you prospect and you're more active, you're in your own bubble. And I think that may be the message today. You know, get back so, to work and meet people. So, Bill, in the, uh, in the absence of time, because I respect everybody's yeah, yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, just two quick closing uh, points I want to bring up. I was mentioning this to my wife this morning about chat GPT, and I am not as affluent as you are on this. This reminds me of that movie I Robot with Will Smith. Yeah. This this is what it reminds me of, and it just yeah. kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yeah. And the second point I want to bring is just because we have this to help us. 
Yeah. Let's not hide behind the computer and let's Absolutely. get out there and still go to work and That's go right. belly to belly with people. That's the message. When you and I spoke and I was responding to somebody selling these big packages, go on YouTube and now you're only outbound. I mean, you're only inbound. You won't make, you will never make it. That's just bullshit. That's just not true. And you know what? The fact that people are talking about that good, let them go do that. That doesn't mean a great area video with you because buyers and sellers want to see you in action. That's right. the trick. And so you can use all the, the active stuff with the passive stuff, but go to chat and have it outline. Outline, that's the key, not script. Dear chat, please outline an area of video for Santa Monica, California, including all of the best reasons to move there. And take that freaking outline Put it on one screen. You know, I got two screens here. I'm sure most of you do. And then turn on your camera and just literally glance over as you read that on YouTube. Okay. Bill, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, yeah. Um, can you can you put your information in the chat box, please? Yeah. Yeah. Let me put that in there. Hold on here. Um I really uh, appreciate Bill coming on and give us some tips because I know my VA, Chris, uh, we work closely with Bill and he really helps us out. And, um, you know, cause sometimes, you know, I'm an old fart, yeah. um, but I'm still younger than Bill. But anyway, um, <laughs> when we get stuck, when we yeah. get stuck, we always call Bill. And like I said, we talk pretty much every day so bill thank you for coming on Frank, I hold on one second one second yeah. i i'm sorry anthony i didn't answer that uh and if we want to do another one how do you break into luxury that's what i do i know how to take agents into luxury so call me personally anthony or if frank we want to go because why would you do anything else really luxury is the only game so maybe another time thanks frank for having me all right thanks everybody see you guys Enjoy your day Bye.